Hello folks and welcome back to twitch.tv slash games with Nick. Today we are continuing our playthrough of The Longest Journey. Um, the story so far, we are somebody that can travel between dimension and we have been tasked by another such being to restore the balance between the science world and the magic world. Easy, right? Uh, I will admit that I did uh, look up something that I was missing, because we ended the last stream being kind of stuck, knowing not knowing where to go. Um, turns out you kind of have to look at these street signs. So we were trying to infiltrate a police station, and the only thing going in are garbage trucks. And so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to fit in this thing. Can I look at another street sign, or...? Yes. It says Threadbare Lane, MCW, and the street ID number is 3018. And we're gonna essentially move this container. 0092 and 3018. <laughs> no, that's how I want to do. I just... how do I... God, why are you moving so slowly, April? It's a garbage container, and it's mostly empty, save for a couple of sticky old newspapers and bottles. Oh god, where is the... Did I dream about it? There was a container, container. Uh, what do we have? Do we have something that can help? I should have probably looked at it and walked through a little more closely. So if I click the action, I'm going to walk in it. Mm. Oh, no, it's a roadblock. This is what I need to interact with. I need to push the roadblock to the next street. Now let's get into the container. <laughs> Ugh. That was so gross. The things I do to save the world, I mean that smell, that sticky stuff, the way that Ratchet wouldn't let me go. Disgusting. Not to mention the fact that I really, truly stink. I don't think this is ever coming off. I'm gonna stink like fish heads and moldy pizza for the rest of my solid life. You can usually tell a crook by his eyes. His foul behavior. And the bandana facing backwards. Tuba? Tuba? Texas Surgeant. Excuse me, ma'am. Yeah, yeah, what can I do for you? Yeah, yeah, this is New York. Where are the archives? The archives? 
You're not an officer of the law, are you? I'm in training at the academy, and I need to get into the archives to study. You're in training? Uh-huh, sure you are. Then what the hell are you doing here? You should be at the academy doing push-ups and learning how to bullshit like a pro. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm from New York. About the archives. <coughs> You're not an officer of the law, are you? So what if I'm not? Then you can't go into the back, capiche? Cops only. Besides, half the doors in this building, including that one, are out of order. Nobody's going in, nobody's coming out. And until those overpaid, underworking service guys get off their butts and back to work, that's the way it's gonna stay. Thanks anyway. Damn unions. It's a toolbox. There's a sheet of paper in here. It's some kind of requisition form or work order. Okama Mercer Corporate Labor Union, form number 09042. Short-term tactical suspension of union members' benefits. It's a carbon copy of an old work order. All right. The panel is closed. It's completely secure. I can't open it. What about the screen? This phone, 099. One two oh nine oh. It's an old vid phone, ancient, ancient technology. The officials are so passe. The screen and camera are both out of order, I think. <coughs> Hiya. Oh, huh? you an angel from heaven come to take me away? Wow, how many times has that line worked for you? Ever since he overdosed on raptures, he ain't been right in the head. I don't ever let him hold the hammer no more either. I'll tell you that. <laughs> well, talk to me then. What do you want? We're on our lunch break, honey. Why aren't you guys working? We're on our contractually bound lunch break. Uh, huh. Right. But you're not eating. <coughs> We're done eating, sure, but we're still on our break. Clause 16 of the contract, and I quote, improper digestion may prove detrimental to further work-related activities, end quote. Meaning what? We're letting the corned beef settle, honey. Aren't you supposed to fix the doors? That's right. But instead, you're just... sitting here. That's right. And you're not planning on getting back to work anytime soon? That's right. And you're not bothered by this? <coughs> That's right. I could say anything, anything at all. That's right. <laughs> you just answer. That's right. That's right. Well, how's that for productivity? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Excuse me, how do I smell? Smell. Are you coming on to me, honey? What? Oh God. I don't know. Women don't usually come on to me, so I'm I'm just checking. I wouldn't want to miss a come on. I asked you how I smelled. Yeah, right. Um like uh moldy pizza and um is that salmon? Smoked. Yeah. And a faint touch of rum. I had an accident with a bottle inside a garbage container. Sure you did. It happens to me all the time. You're not alone. In fact, there are meetings downtown every Wednesday night. I don't have a drinking problem. If you can't admit it to yourself, honey, you do. After all, who's the one reeking of rum? Not me, that's for sure. <laughs> not today, anyway. It'd be so nice if you could fix the doors. And it would be so nice if you could go away and leave us alone. <laughs> Is there anything I can do to make you go back to work? No. Short of emergency, we ain't moving our asses in the foreseeable future. What the? 
constitutes an emergency. Any event accompanied by a specific work order signed in triplicate. What kind of work order? Ah, well, you know. About the work order. About the work order. Yeah? Which one? You know, for emergencies. <laughs> You mean the short-term tactical suspension of union members' benefits requisition form? Uh, sure. Well, if you were to produce said requisition with the appropriate signatures, we'd be forced to prematurely suspend our lunch break, for tactical reasons, of course. <coughs> Thus, allowing our scheduled work to be completed. Don't you just love bureaucracy? You what? Never mind. Enjoy your lunch break, guys. With the Sunday overtime we're getting, you betcha, honey. <laughs> All right, let's try it. That's the requisition from last week. What a horrible experience that was. I pray each and every night that we'll never have to sacrifice our lunch break again. You keep it, okay? Seeing that form again sickens me. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna have to do something to deform then. No? Was worth a shot. The doors are closed. <laughs> Good I there's no way I can use the push pin to open the panel, is there? No. Back to sergeant again. Excuse me, ma'am. You again, what do you want now? Thanks anyway. Nope. <clears throat> um is there something? It's inexpensive. But cool. Can I use the left vid phone? <laughs> Izzy. What a surprise. I haven't spoken with mom since I... since I left, actually. I should give her a ring. Hello? Hi, mom? <gasps> it's April. How are you? Where are you, sweetheart? In the city, mom, you know that. Why didn't you call? We've been... I've been worried sick about you, sweetheart. <laughs> Didn't you get my letter? Yes, and I can't say I understand why. Well, that was the problem, wasn't it? <laughs> Didn't understand. I don't think it was fair of you to be so hard on your father. You hurt him a lot, you know? And I'm not just talking about you pushing him down the stairs. <laughs> and what about me? You don't think he hurt me? Were you so blind you didn't see that? April... You know I can't take sides in this. No. Of course not. Not you. <laughs> not ever. Anyway, how is... Is Dad doing okay? I mean, after the fall. He broke his arm and he had to take some time off work. Money short because of that. We had to pull Danny out of school until next semester. You can't blame me for those things, Mom. If you hadn't left like you did... I'd probably be dead now, Mom. I couldn't take it anymore. Please, let's not argue about this now. I just wanted to... I just wanted to hear your voice. Please come home, April. We still love you. No. Thank you, but no. That's not gonna happen. Listen, I have to go. I'm in the middle of... something. Take care, okay? Okay, sweetheart. I love you. Yeah, me too, Mom. Bye. <laughs> well, that was a pretty touching, um, moment. This phone, 099-12090. Uh, why are you not? I guess I have to dial this one. So my question now is, how do I get back out? There's nah -uh, nah -uh. <laughs> they don't open manually. Do 
this means I, I have to do something in the area. But I'm not entirely sure what. Okama Mercer Corporate Labor Union, form number 09042. Short-term tactical suspension of union members' benefits. It's a carbon copy of an old work order. It's Brian Westhouse's signature. One map of the Northlands to be delivered to Tom Lyak at the Journeyman Inn. It's a toolbox. The panel is closed. It's completely secure. I can't open it. <laughs> it's the time to start trying random bullshit. Until something works. Mm. I guess we haven't completely exhausted the dialogue of these guys. I'm still here. It's me again. <sighs> Where do I go to get the requisition form? The form. The requisition form for the short-term tactical suspension of... Uh... Of union member benefits. Any official office for which we perform services. Enjoy your lunch break, guys. With the Sunday overtime we're getting? You betcha, honey. Uh, the surgeon could make one for me? Excuse me, ma'am. You again, what do you want now? I need a requisition form number 09042. Short-term tactical suspension of union members' benefits. <sighs> Hold on. Here you go, miss. Union requisition form number 09042. All right. Bokamba Mercer Corporate Labor Union, form number 09042. <coughs> Short-term tactical suspension of union members' benefits. The work order's blank. Hmm. We have a copy of the form. Excuse me, ma'am. You again, what do you want now? Thanks anyway. <laughs> mm. What happens if I talk to them again? It's me again. <sighs> Enjoy your lunch break, guys. With the Sunday overtime we're getting? You betcha, honey. <laughs> what if I give you the blank for him? I better for uh, fill out this work order oh, first. Oh, that's all. I was overthinking it. Fix the damn doors. Sign the commission. There. <laughs> sure. <laughs> now we're set. What's this? Oh, just a jolly little requisition entitled Short-Term Tactical Suspension of Union Members' Benefits. Say what? Lady, do you realize what you've just done? You've... interrupted our lunch break! Mm -hmm. This is an official work order! It can't be. Wait. Oh, zero Jesus nine Christ. Zero four two. This isn't 09042-A, is it? <laughs> Uh, no, just plain old 09042 dash nothing. Ha <laughs> ha! This being Sunday and all, that petition is useless. On public holidays, you need the extension dash A form. Addendum for public holidays, a spin on triple overtime and all. <laughs> so? So, we're gonna stay here and enjoy our extended break. Thank you very much. Now go away. 
Give me a second. I want to try something is off again with the. I'm gonna try to increase the threshold of my mic. Cause it was picking up some things. All right. Hello. I actually need the dash A form. Excuse me, ma'am. You again? What do you want now? I'm sorry, but I need the 09042-A requisition form addendum as well. The what? The 09042-A? Why the hell didn't you ask me for that one in the first place? This bureaucracy is stupid. I love torturing you. In fact, I've made it my life's mission to haunt you forever and ever with requests for useless forms and documents. Hmm. Okay. I felt like that could have gone two ways. Either the surgeon would have respected April for it, or she would have been so mad and arrested her, so. All right, requisition form number 09042-A. And that better be it. All right. Okay, now we're set. I hope. Why do you keep bothering us? Don't you have anything better to do? I need to get in those doors. No, absolutely not. This is requisition form number 09042-A, the short-term tactical suspension of union members' benefits requisition form with the public holiday addendum. Balls. We've been nailed, George. Get your ass off the chair. We're going back to work thanks to this lovely young lady. I guess we're gonna have to help them fix this thing too, won't we? Are you guys gonna be done soon? Hey, who knows? This is complicated stuff, honey. At least they're doing something, even if it's just staring at the panel. The panel is open and some wires are hanging out. Hmm. Excuse me, ma'am. You again, what do you want now? When you are now. That's just my incoming call. <laughs> How's it going? Uh... Mm, okay, let me try again that, but move more quickly. There's a phone call for you. For me? Who is it? I think it might be union business. Out of my way, lady! <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't know what this polygonal model is supposed to represent or how they animated it. And honestly, I don't even want to know. The panel is open and some wires are hanging out. I can't get to the wires while these guys are working there. I need to create some kind of distraction. Get them away from the panel. There's a call for you too, sir. Me? I get no calls ever. Except from my mommy. Is it my mommy? Uh, it could very well be your mommy. Oh. Thanks. Don't do drugs, kids. Wires. 
on blue. No. It's a long shot, but if I try to cross these wires. Voila! I'm so good. Hey, you can't go back there. It's a restricted area. I need to distract her. But how? <coughs> Excuse me, ma'am. You again. What do you want now? Thanks anyway. Hmm, <laughs> okay. Got them fooled good. Got them fooled good. So we we're making good progress. We just have to figure out how to distract the surgeon. Just cut one of them, Jackson. The timer's almost at zero. Boom! Ah! My favorite scene. No. Ah, uh -uh, they're awful. <laughs> no. No. Oh, there we go. It's the most difficult form to get a hold of. <coughs> the label on that shelf says, Reporting Indecent or Lewd Behavior by Bingo or BM Personnel. Number 31366. All right, we got it. Excuse me, ma'am. You again, what do you want now? <coughs> I'd like that form for complaining about lewd and indecent behavior, please. Number... Three one three six six. Hold on. <laughs> All right. We are a criminal. Archives. It's a retinal scanner. Instantly outdated by the genetic scanner, but I guess here they don't care. Considering the fact that I'm inside a police station, it might be prudent to pay for the soda first. Let's see. Cola, lemon, lime, lemon lime, strawberry, strawberry lime, strawberry cola, cherry cola. Yuck. I'll go with the old standby. Bingo classic. Boring, but safe. All right, we have some cola. It's a can of delicious bingo classic soda. Even if it wasn't the only soda available, bingo would still be the soda for me. Locker room. Sergeant Frank Minnelli. Sergeant Frank Minnelli. Sergeant Russell Franco. Sergeant Ricky Mahoney. Sergeant Maria Hernandez. Sergeant Morty Lowe. Sergeant Anthony McDonald. Hi. Who's in there? Minnelli. Who's asking? God, I know that voice. What? Who are you? Sergeant Hernandez! Maria, thank God you're here. Listen, I need you to get my stomach medicine from the locker here. And we are also impersonating a police officer now, so... I'm pretty sure this is the poor guy that we gave the radioactive hard candy to, so... Poor guy. It's a receptacle for a synthetic eye. I guess Frankie Boy is using one of those babies. Never tell from looking at him. It's a receptacle for... It's a receptacle. Sergeant Minnelli's been banging this locker shut one too many times. Say hello to seven years of bad luck, guy. That sure makes me feel a whole lot better about harassing him. Because he broke a mirror?
How are you feeling? Better. A little better. I need it. I think this medicine is flushing out my system a little, you know what I mean? It cool. I know what you mean too well. No need to go any further, sir. Thank you, Maria. Hey, you got a cold or something? You sound different. Hey, you got a cold or something? I got something, all right. Gotta go, Manelli. Thanks for your help, Maria. No, I need a Zai. Manelli's a man. <laughs> um. Yeah, can't feed him more hard candy. Probably can do this, right? Yeah. It's a receptacle for synthetic eye. It's empty, so it's broken. The showers. Unisex, of course. I could use a shower. Uh, no. Ow. I get him to give me his eye. Thanks for your help, Maria. I do something with the mirror. Receptacle for synthetic eye. It's empty, so he must be using it. Mm. That clearly shouldn't be stepping through the lobby. Oh no, I should. I need a screwdriver. Hey, you can't go back there. Uh, do I have to do that again? Oh, I guess the union guys are gone now. You know what I'm about to ask for, don't you? Excuse me, ma'am. You again, what do you want now? How do you now? I'd like that form for complaining about lewd and indecent behavior, please. Number. 31366. Hold on. <laughs> the panel is open and some wires are hanging out. <coughs> Alright, how is the screwdriver helping me? Gotta go, Manelli. Mm. Thanks for your help, Maria. Mm. 
There are only two things to interact here. The mirror. It's a loose shard of the oh, there we go. I'll just carefully separate this shard from the mirror. Like so. Archives, login. F. Minnelli. Password, wife's birthday. What a smart boy. Real security whiz. How's Mrs. Minnelli doing? Why are you asking? I didn't think it... Oh, hell, Maria, we spoke about this. I told you I... Can't you just let it rest? Uh, sure, sorry. Just... wondering. I wish you wouldn't, Maria. You know how... It is what it is, you know? About Mrs. Minnelli. God damn it, Maria, I'm on the freaking can, yeah? I was just thinking, maybe I should get her a birthday present. What do you think? Are you nuts? Have you gone completely nuts? What are you doing? What the <laughs> hell are you doing? I think uh, somebody here was... Uh... Nice! You want Laura to kick me out of my own apartment? Is that it? You want my wife to kick me out of the apartment tomorrow? Tomorrow? Your wife's birthday's tomorrow? You're not buying her a present, Maria. Don't even think about it. That would be such a big mistake. You don't want to make a mistake like that. Okay, boss. You're the boss. Don't call me boss. And would you leave me alone? I'm not in a sociable mood. Hell, I'm on the can. Gotta go, Manelli. Thanks for your help, Maria. I still need your eye, though. I know at the very least that the wife's birthday is July 31st. So, there's that. I'm not sure what to do. Jesus, I think I'm allergic to the goddamn medicine. Minnelli's oh, up. crap, my eye. There we go. Hey, leave my eye alone. Hey, leave my eye alone. There you are. Back in your slot. Mm. Gotta go, Manelli. Thanks for your help, my dear. Monkey see, <gasps> monkey do. Well, oh, not without this he won't. Hey, leave my eye alone. I'm just trying to feel it, to be perfectly honest, but okay. He's sneezing and his eye falls. Maybe I should just try to grab it. Hey, leave my eye alone. Oh no, okay, I need to, I think. There you are. Back in your slot. Is this on the floor? No. Dude. Oh crap, my eye. Hey, leave my eye alone. How do I steal your eye? There you are. Back in your slot. It's a shard of glass from a mirror. <laughs> oh crap, my eye. Kind of unsettling to be Minnelli's a man. Minnelli's a man. Big surprise. I'm still here. It's Frank Minnelli's synthetic eye. There you are. Back in your slot. Dude. Oh, crap, my eye. Hey, leave my eye alone. Oh, this is what I need to do. I like my outfit. It's inexpensive. 
All right, I got you. Back in this slot. Let's give it and one more cycle. All right, bye, Manelli. There you are. Back in this slot. Into the archives. If I remember my digital history lessons correctly, that's what's called a dot matrix printer. They used that in like the 18th century or something. Ha. I'm Frank Minnelli. I feel really guilty doing this. I, uh, love my wife Laura, and her birthday is on the 31st of this month, which means... Laura 0731? Please, 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 please. Blamo. Yes. so good. Again. Now, what to search for? Uh, let's see. Warren Franklin Hughes, a.k.a. Fire Lizard, Terminator Boy Zeke, born in August 29th, 195. Father Ellis Hughes, the C's. Uh, mother, Simone Paris, the C's. Siblings, Erica Hughes. System. And that's her colonization number. I better remember it in case I need it. Until I, um, update Warren's rap sheet, there's no reason to print it out. I don't think I need to see any more of Warren's rap sheet. He's been... kinda active. Whoa! You think I just killed Warren? Oh well, he's just gonna have to, uh, live with that. At least the cops and corporates won't be after him anymore. Just the more. Oops. Presses are rolling. Now, where's the printer? Next to you. Mm -mm. It's the only lead I have, so if this falls through, I'm out of luck. All right, we do have an address. I get a hard copy of this for Warren. All right. It's a long shot, but Church of Vanguard. No information. What about Church of Voltec? Church of Voltec is the front of the Vanguard use here in Stark. So there must be at least some information available. Revolutionary Church, registered trademark of Revolutionary Church Holding, registered to organize religious movement under the Manu Memorandum, information protected and classified under the Religious Secrecy Act. All inquiries to be directed to the Revolutionary Church, contact White Cardinal Jacob McCallan. White Cardinal? What the hell is that? I should keep that name in mind, though. It could turn out to be important. The so-called White Cardinal... Search for him. <laughs> Oops. I have no idea what that is. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to make sure there's no warrant or anything out for my arrest. Yep. You don't know who I am, which is good to know. Ooh. ooh, 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 let's do that. Let's let's do that again. The so called White Cardinal. I wonder who he is. So it's 
A bigger than sign with an extra thing. IT slanted, a square, and a square with the top and the right. So it's, um, great, I already forgot. So this, then the square, then these two. And I think, yeah, this was the first button. Uh, there we go. Guess it must be an old style archive. Paper only. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What do we get? What do we get? There's nothing in here. Oh, except for a tiny data cube. It's a tiny data cube with a non standard interface. It probably won't work on the screen we have at home. Uh, I should make sure to get the printouts. It's the hard copy of all the information Warren wanted on his sister and himself. It's a control panel for the archive retrieval unit. Yeah, no, this is a search query. Um, yeah, I think we are done here. Like, I don't... I can even go back to the locker room, so I don't think I can use it in there. Mm. Uh... How do I get out? Excuse me, ma'am. You again, what do you want now? Thanks anyway. Oh, this way. All right, let me let me make a save just in case. Uh huh. Did make some good progress at the moment. I'm gonna play for another hour or so. I kind of want this AG control unit. Move on. Nothing to see. Keep it moving, ma'am. <laughs> Damn. Dust. Right. There's something about the dust that is annoying him. Would you like a soda? Don't make the cop abandon his post. I need to come up with a better plan. And being a good Samaritan may be the honorable course of action, but it won't help me save the world. Worlds. Okay. Well, for now, let's just go back to Warren, I guess. Uh... Oh, boy. So, we need to go back to... Oh god, um, Hope Street, there we go. How did it go? Did you get the information? Is my sister okay? It wasn't easy, but I did it. Your sister's fine. You don't have to worry about the law or the corporates anymore. That's great. That's... Thank you. Really. Thank you. So do you have the information for me? Sure, right here. Listen, Warren. Your parents... They're... They're dead. But your sister's okay. She's been adopted by some woman named Drake, a lieutenant with the Wakamba Mercer Corporation. My sister's a corp brood? And my... My parents, you know that should hurt, but it doesn't. I don't feel anything. 
My parents left me a long time ago. But my sister, I gotta find her. I'm sure you will, Warren. Hey, wait a minute. You killed me? Thanks a lot. Well, when you're dead, nobody cares. Cops are not gonna be chasing <laughs> you for crimes committed by a dead guy. Yeah, you're right. But I'm gonna have a tough time getting a new ID. You should have just wiped my record clean. I'm not complaining, though. I'm better off now than I was a few hours ago. So what can I do for you now, sister? Can you put me in touch with your friend now? Yeah, for the information you needed? Right, you got it. Head on out to the Newport docks down in the outskirts of the city. It's all deserted now since they stopped using the boats for cargo shipment. Head across the construction yard to a large garage. You can't miss it. It's got all these large tubes outside. Knock three times on the door and tell Burns Flipper, this guy's weird, so don't mind the stuff he says. Tell the Flipper that I sent you. I'll call ahead to let him know you're coming. He should be able to help you out with almost everything you need to know, okay? Thanks. Bye, Warren. Hey, keep it cool, sister. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Still Sunday. Surprise! I got in, I got that. I got a glorious carrying and crime ahead of me if I want. And it feels so good. My parents would be so proud of me. Little Miss Criminal. That's me. Whatever. At least I got the name and location of Warren's friend, the so called Burns Flipper. Is that an actual name? The shop is down by the Newport docks in an old garage. Knocked three times on the door, Warren told me. I'm surprised I don't have to say open sesame as well. Hopefully, this guy. Uh, Flipper, will be able to help me locate the Vanguard Church or Voltec. This afternoon I have to meet up with Cortez again and prefer to have some solid information to share with him. Alright. Well, let's go to the docks. This is an interesting shot. Like, why do we have this giant tower in front of us? Hey, cool! It's a 2032 Camaro in prime condition! Gas guzzling automobiles was my secret passion before I turned 13. They were so much more fun than boys. Still are, really. It's a rickety ladder. Garage. I hope this chapter is over soon. Um, I love this game. Not for the Stark chapters, but for the Arcadia chapters. So. MTI Industrial Strength Paint Shaker. So it's a device for shaking paint then. It's so last century. You know, we're gonna have to do this. I think that's quite enough. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Stuff. I better get rid of it as soon as possible. The doors are closed. And three. You're trespassing. You gotta leave now. Where'd that come from? I'm April Ryan, Warren's friend. I don't know anybody named Ryan, so how about fuck it off? Rude. I called you on my behalf, Warren Hughes. You know Warren, right? Didn't I tell you to fuck off? Yeah, but. So fuck off already. Am I stuttering here? Jesus H. Christ, you think that fuck off would be clear enough as it is for even a 
slag like you don't understand. I'm not a slag. What a jackass. Could you, like, shut up for just one second? Chill out! I'm April Ryan. I have a friend of Warren's, who apparently is a friend of yours. And he called you a short while ago to let you know he's cashing in on a favor. Does any of this ring a bell? Ring a bell? Ding dong, the witch is dead. What are you, like a cliche movie chick? Yeah, it fucking rings a bell, but not the bell you'd like to hear. Think I was born yesterday? Like jacking in on a satellite conversation isn't in the fucking guidebook to good corporate surveillance? Jesus! Corps always underestimate the flipper. Like I fight because I see a babe in tight pants. I don't think so. You know, if the fate of two worlds didn't depend on me, I'd tell you to go straight to hell. Did I mention blow me, baby? Could you blow me really hard? Well, you're such a bastard! Listen! I was out to arrest you. Don't you think I'd have brought an army of corporate goons? You got a point. April Ryan, huh? Shit. The channel of Warren was scrambled anyway. Top of the line African scrambler. Fucking impossible to hack unless you're the flipper. You're telling me that, that you knew who I was the whole time? Are you a psychopath or something? Or something. Sure, babe. Hey, hold on. Okay. That was a very weird conversation. But I guess at least we are in. Hello? Are you burned? Yeah, chill out, baby. Chill. Be there in a sec. How'd you get down here? Who the hell are you? I knocked, you let me in, we spoke only a few minutes ago. Warren's friend April? Warren who? I don't know any Warren. Oh, Warren, right, yeah, Fire Lizard. Zeke. He's a good supplier. The flipper likes him. Likes him good. You a buddy of his? Yeah, oh, you his baby, yeah. Oh, oh sure, I date 15 year olds all the time. I mean, she's 18, so, you know. So. The age difference is not that crazy. I need some information. So visit the fucking library. Or go bother the Oracle or whatever. The flipper can't help you. That's too bad. I guess Warren was wrong about you. Yeah. Hey, what? What was he wrong about? About you being the best there is at getting information. Any kind of information. Yeah, you know that a fucker like this is a giant ego. Yeah, I'm the best. Best there ever was. Better than Chocolat. I'm the king of data streams. The emperor of the feed, baby. What kind of information do you need? I need information on a guy called Jacob McAllen and an organization called the Vanguard or the Church of Voltec. Sounds pretty heavy. I gotta tell you, Voltex and shit, they got security, top of the fucking food chain. You got something concrete for me to go on here, huh? Besides names, names are nothing. I have this data cube. Details. Gods and the Jesus is in the details, woman. There's a fucking ocean of info out there. Gotta know where to start, what to focus on, where do I begin? Give me a map. What is this place? This is the Flipper's Boutique, mademoiselle. I sell everything from joy chips and porn cubes, strictly hardcore. Max, illegality. <laughs> what would be the fucking point otherwise? The satellites and BH generators? What I don't have here, I can get for a price. This place ain't your neighborhood S-Mart. Let me tell you, shop smart, shop S-Mart. 
Nah, what I got here costs moolah. Mucho moolah. Are you in the market for a neutronium bomb, by the by? Got a hot one sitting in storage. Give it to you for a cool 100 million, huh? Bargain. Interested? Sure. Let me just check my wallet. No, of course not. Are you crazy? <laughs> I know you are, but what am I? <laughs> what happened to your legs? Jesus, are you fucking kidding me? My fucking legs, huh? You want to know? Yeah, that's where I asked. I wouldn't have asked if I didn't want to know. I'll tell you, you took my legs. Captain Crunch. Now, answer this question for me. I'll tell you who took them. Sure. Are you a virgin? What? I ain't telling you nothing until you answer the question there, Trebek. I uh, think she is. I am a virgin. Right. And I lost my legs in a hunting accident. Mosquito bit it off. Nasty motherfucker. Really? Nah. Just fucking with you again. Well, gosh darn it, you really got me there, boy. Oh, ouch, it bites. You got teeth, honey. Let me have it. Ah! This is a very weird conversation. Weird. So are you. Thanks for your help, Mr. Flipper. I'm the Flipper. The Flipper. Call me Burns. Yeah, beautiful. Ha. See ya. So, oh, the flipper, I have a data cube for you. Hey, Burns? I'll be right up. I got this data cube from the police station. Yeah, so what the hell is on it? You asked for details? This thing has details. Plenty of it, I hope. And you expect me to sort through this shit for you, locate the relevant information, dive into the big blue sea of corporate security, and fish out whatever it is you need from the feed? Uh, yeah, that's about it. Please? Shit, you're cute. But if you weren't Warren's little play thing, I'd kick you out. And whatever. Hand it over and I'll give me a few minutes. So we don't have, we just have to wait for him to do this, I guess. Holy macaroni, you do know what the fuck you're fucking with here, yeah? You do know, don't you? These guys are the fucking epitome of uncoolness. It's good stuff, though. Freshest information. I gotta hand it to you, sexy. You know what you were doing bringing this to the flip stuff. God. So, what can you tell about the Vanguard? Is there anything in there about where they're located and how to get access to their files? Shit! Aren't you a little too eager to trot with the beast, babe? Slow down, chill. I'll tell you what you need to know. But first, take a look at this recording. Step over to the screen there, and I'll play it back for you, okay? All right. charge forward into a new era of compassion, companionship, and goodwill. An era of expansion and enrichment. A golden era. We must forge a future for ourselves, our children, and our children's children that can withstand the forces that oppose us. We shall be victorious. What the Church of Voltec was created to do is bring spirituality back into our lives and into our world. Spirituality and knowledge. Our enemies have suppressed the truth for too long. We can no longer stand idly by while they spread their lies. 
must fight back. We must take to arms and defend ourselves against our oppressors. I am not, by nature, a man of violence. Nor oh, Jesus. Okay. You're starting a rebellion of sorts. Cool. Just cool. Very, very cool. Peaceful philosopher, dude. Not the case, as it turns out. Obvious Hitler complex, real Nazi wannabe. This is heavy, dangerous shit you got here, and I love it. But I thought the Church of Voltec was a peaceful religion dedicated only to meditation and philosophy. You and 20 billion other souls, Missy. This is the truth, it's clear as simple as butter. Now take a look at this, on the screen again. Who's this? Ah, it's a guy named Gordon Halloway. Evil-looking dude, huh? Turns out he's McAllen's right-hand man, runs the Vanguard's secret ops. There's a gold mine of info on this data cube. Yeah! The Vanguard have a bunch of agents that they've bred in tanks. Their grasp of genetic engineering far surpasses anything I've seen so far. I've seen everything. Oh, God. Great. Super soldiers. Against the enemy they call the Fathers or the Sentinel? I don't know who the fuck they are, but I'll find out. Must be the good guys, though, if they're fighting these creeps. Anyhow, this guy Gordon, he was originally intended for some kind of religious duty, whatever the hell it was for the Sentinel dudes. Let's say, like, Dalai Lama or whatever. But the Vanguard kidnapped him before he was ready, and they did some shit with him, some experiments to try to use his powers, and I'm thinking this spiritual crap. It's just bullshit. But... Both the Vanguard and these Sentinel dudes, they believe this kid has powers, that he's destined for something very important. So when the Vanguard grab him, that's like, holy shit, fucking big deal. What kind of experiments did they perform on the child? Weird fucking things. Trying to control these powers he has, they fuck up big time, though. And the kid is totally screwed up, split in half in some spiritual way. One part chaotic, the other pure logic. So now this dude Gordon, he's like the coldest motherfucker you'll ever meet, so stay out of his way. According to these documents, he'll kill somebody for cutting in line ahead of him, which I'll do too, you know, or like coughing in his own direction, which I'd fucking lop your head off for, but anyway. Now he runs the whole dark side of the Church of Voltec, and I'm guessing he's next in line to take over, after old man McCallum leaves this earthly realm, which could take ages, I'm afraid, with the tech these guys got. How come the police were able to gather this much information on the Vanguard, and yet they don't do anything about it? I don't know. Maybe it's routine. Maybe they want something on the bastards to pressure them when they really need to. And maybe the information just got lost in the system. The fact is, though, that with assholes like these walking among us, we're not safe. None of us. Least of all you. So please don't hang around longer than necessary. Yeah. So, okay, these guys are badasses. And I should stay as far away from them as possible. Disregarding that, however, where are the Vanguard headquarters? Uh, you're either very brave or very stupid, Chiquita. But whichever it is, I shouldn't tell you. Why? Because I'm a girl and I can't take care of myself? No, because anybody who fucked with these guys is sure to end up with a bullet lodged in the back of their skull. Or worse. I'll take that chance. Shit. You know, I'm the flipper. The flipper. I'm not into this shit, you know. I'm strictly into sales and profit. This detective shit you're doing. What the hell is it? Are you, why are you doing it? That's a very long story. It's some other time, yeah? I really need that information, Mr. Flipper. Okay, chill, dick smack. I got it. I got it. 
You see, the church has several unofficial headquarters round and about, but they're insignificant cover operations, basically. There's no concrete address on this data cube you gave me, but I scanned it through some online records quickly, and I discovered that the Voltex, the Vanguard, are linked to a very big company indeed. Is it bingo? MTI, Malcolm no. Technologies Incorporated. Big guys, almost as big as Bocamba Mercer. Beat the hell out of me. But it looks like the head honchos of the Vanguard may be running MTI. Which is kind of funny, because I got some beef with MTI. Some heavy duty beef. And now I got something to hit them back with, fuckers. What does that mean? That MTI is run by the Vanguard? It means that wherever the corporate headquarters of MTI are, you'll probably find the Vanguard elite. And you know where the MTI corporate headquarters are? I'm the flipper, dude. What the fuck do you think? Shit. Don't answer that. Grendel Avenue. I don't know where that is. You don't know where Grendel Avenue is? Holy Christ. You're kidding, yeah? That's like the numero uno neighborhood in Newport. Only the top dogs live there. Apartments go for hundreds of millions of dollars. All right. How do I get there? Sorry, you don't. Man, a slag like you are stuck on the ground level for all eternity. There's no stepping up in the world for you. Gotta have proper ID, top level ID to get to Grendel Avenue. And you don't, babe. Sorry. Could, could you make some ID for me? That looks like the kind of thing you do. Hey, Burns? I'll be right up. What is it? Could you fix me up with some fake identification? Why would you want that? How else am I going to get to Grendel Avenue? Hey, I'm warning you, don't fuck with those Vanguard shitheads. Yeah, they bite. And I bet you they don't let go like fucking... What do you call those little fucking dogs that don't let go? Chihuahuas? Pitbull Terriers? Oh. Shit. Man, those things are nasty fucking wicked nasty. Can we discuss the fake identification I need? Baby, I gotta tell you, it's gonna cost you cash only. You got a lot of cash? Lots of it. You better come it out of your ears, baby. And sorry, friend of a friend and all, but it ain't cheap. And I advise you to forget about it pronto. Let me worry about that. How much will it cost me? I have, like, $300. <laughs> Try 20k on for size, shortcake. Sorry, little missy, but fake IDs cost a moolah. I need to buy a properly generated key from a connection downtown. I need an authorized blank card. You're an idiot. They don't come cheap, that stuff. Even if I cut out my profit, which we were paying you for in the dismay, <laughs> it'll still come to $15,000, baby. Would you consider alternative forms of payment for a fake ID? Sorry, Chiquita, that urge disappeared with my little legs. No, I'm thinking other stuff. No! Oh, not that! God forbid! More like a, a favor or something you need. Don't think I need it. Whoa! God! Well, sounds like somebody could use an anti-gravity unit. Shit. Control unit is fried like fried taters, brainiac. Ah, it'll be gone, gone, gone for a good in a few days. Glad I hope my good friend, my buddy, my mate, Freaky Sales, gets me a new one before that, so it don't fall down. His name is Freaky Sales. If I you a new anti-grab control unit, would that get me a fake ID? <laughs> if you found a good one that actually works, and one that can lift more than 200 kilos, hey, sure, it's like you're gonna find one. <laughs> Oh, don't worry. I know exactly where I need to find it. Sure. Burns Flipper. Okay, now there's an eccentric. A bastard as well. Not to mention big asshole, major jerk, and total idiot. But reasonably friendly. And definitely interesting. Some people might say, an enigmatic man. Not me though. I never used the word enigmatic to describe anything or anybody. He was helpful though, 
and most decode this data crystal that I found in the archives. The Church of Voltec is apparently associated with MTI, and their headquarters are up on Grendel Avenue. But I can't get up there without access to the upper levels of the city. And they'd never give that to a lowlife like me, so I have to fake it. The flipper can help me out with this too, but it's going to cost a lot. So unless I can find a replacement anti-grav unity for his chair, um, well, out of luck. Now, where did I see an AG unit today? Oop. Right. Yeah, ooh, there's going to be a lot of running around. Right here. Oh, I guess I need to click this. So I can go downstairs and hit the subway. And go back to this place and through. The pathing is out. The pathing is just so weird. You see this big soda can about to explode? Would you like to drink some cola? Would you like a cold soda, officer, to wash away the dust? Much obliged, ma'am. Jesus. Man, that really blew up, huh? service office before my suit short circuits. Great. I feel so bad. Yeah, I bet you do. And I love it. Now we're going to use this mirror to deflect the laser, I guess. It's a high voltage laser perimeter fence. Oh. There we go. I saw this on an episode of MacGyver 2200. All right. AG control unit is fastened tight with a couple of big screws. Yanking it free might damage the unit. Oh, I'm all set, baby. Max efficiency. Go in, grab the AG unit, go back out. Yard. Through the garage into the pit. And here's the unit. Hey, Burns. I'll be right. 
Straight up. Is this what you need? Whoa, heavy duty. That baby's worth just enough for me to get you top of the line all access ID, babe. Girl. Yeah. Just enough. Like sure. Baby, be able to zoom on out of here once in a while. Excellent. So how soon can you have the ID ready? Uh, a couple of days. A couple of days? I need it now. Oh, no, 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 no. Ain't gonna happen. Shit takes time, you know? Shit takes time. Tomorrow night at the earliest. Can't promise anything, though, but I'll certainly try for the little girl. All right. Well, at least we've got this done. Where are we supposed to meet with Cortez? Do we get a new diary thing? No. All right. Maybe back to the movie theater? I wonder why I could interact with the Kamara there. Go downstairs. The plank through the longest journey will actually take us a reasonable amount of time. This is not a particularly short game. Um, once we're done with it, or once we're bored and want to switch it temporarily, we're gonna continue our playthrough of, uh, um, let's try Metro first. We're gonna continue our playthrough of, uh, the full Sherlock Holmes series. Uh, next up would be Sherlock Holmes versus Jack the Ripper. No, I guess I can't go to the old theater, so let's just go back to Venice. If I'm not mistaken, it's um, Jack the Ripper and then the Testament of Sherlock Holmes. So, pretty excited to replay both of those at some point. Cortez gonna be at my place? Hmm. I'd love to just sit here for hours, soaking in the atmosphere of Venice. But who's got the time? my bed. It's been too hot to sleep with the cover. I wonder why it's called a twin bed. There's no way it could possibly accommodate two people. But Cortez say something about uh -uh. Hmm. Not that I've had a chance to try. So we we have completed something. Maybe it's at the cafe? Maybe I can ask at the cafe where to find them? Maybe it's at the church? That's another thing we could try.
Are we working today? I hate to say it, but I don't have time to talk to Charlie right now. That's Charlie. Mm. Well, there's nobody at the cafe, so I guess we'll try the church. I'm I'm so, kind of surprised that I didn't get a diary update after giving um, Burns the the the, the AG unit. Maybe I should talk to Burn some more, maybe that's it. Let me let me let me go back to the docks and walk all the way back and talk to Burns again. It's a 2032 Camaro. It's probably worth at least a quarter of a million bucks. Who'd leave a car like that in a place like this? That's a good question. Nope. There's nothing else I can give him. So I guess we're gonna try the church on Hope Street. At the very least the priest should know where Cortez is. That's that's elite. Something. Oh, there we go. Thank God. And Arcadians, those easily misled sheep, they embrace these ideas because they prophesize change. And change is always attractive to humans. Not only humans, the Vanguard are using a tyrant to force their changes into effect. They say the tyrant have turned to religion, that they have. Ah, the tyrant. Those beasts are not much for loyalty, but promise them money and power. The Vanguard are probably ready to offer them half of the Northlands, perhaps even Mercuria itself for their services. And they have certainly wanted to put their filthy claws on that city for as long as I can remember. Yes, it's beginning to look quite bleak. 
What about the girl? Ooh. I think she may have seen the light, finally. She does not know even half of what is going on, and if she did, I do not think she would be able to handle it. Better she does not know. Aren't you worried that the fate of the balance in our worlds is in the hands of a... a child? A simple country girl? Of course. I do my best to help her, as does the mother in her way. Still, April will be on her own soon enough, and then... who knows? After all, she is the one. No Are you a dragon that. too, Cortez? The balance knows, and the balance provides. And if the balance believes in this girl, we should as well. Spoken as a man of true faith. But of course, Father, you're not the only one who places his faith in higher powers. <laughs> higher powers. I have to go prepare my sermon for tonight. And what lessons will be taught today? You know the usual. Sacrifice, devotion, faith, the cornerstones of any religion. Even the vanguards seem to follow these tenets. They require devotion through faith just as much as we do. Good night, Raul. Que Dios te bendiga. I went to the Hope City Cathedral and met Father Raul. Oh, sorry. No, we get to do the last one. I just overheard a conversation between Raul and Cortez, and I suddenly feel very, very scared. The simple fact that I don't know these people, I can't tell who my friends really are anymore, and there are things going on that I fear I will never understand. It's really frightening how easily I've accepted everything I've been told these past few days without questioning people's motives. It's not like me at all. I'm usually the paranoid type. But I'll be more careful from now on. I don't want to trust anybody, not without good reason. It's not that I think Cortez plans to stab me in the back or something. I'm sure his motives are solid enough. But I don't like being kept in the dark, especially when so much is riding on me. And with a situation as complicated as this one, I just wish I knew what's really going on, that's all. It's beautiful in here, don't you think? So quiet, so spiritual. See, I'm no Catholic. But I still like coming here to meditate. To pray, if you want. If you're not a Catholic, who do you pray to? To the universe. To the balance. To the rock in this floor and, and the air around us. Why would he be a Catholic knowing the existence of a separate magic world? It's Come on. Sanita, pure and simple. So, what did you dig up today? Nothing, except for everything you ever wanted to know about the Vanguard and Jacob McAllen. You got the information? You found Warren? He helped you? Really? Eventually. It wasn't easy. But I know where to find McAllen, and I'm working on how to get there. I should be all set by tomorrow. Good news. And just in time, too. Things are not going well out there. What do you mean? The balance is collapsing. And magic is seeping through into this world. Stark is still protected by its strong currents of logic and order, but Arcadia is on the brink of war and utter chaos. Unless we act quickly, Arcadia will fall into disorder, and Stark will follow. Can't we get help? Everyone with the power and will to help is doing so. But you are so much more important than anyone else. You can travel to Arcadia to bring order to chaos. At least until we find the Guardian and return him to his realm. What about the Vanguard? We investigate your lead tomorrow, yes? If we find what we are looking for, if they have the Guardian or know where he is, then we are one step closer to victory. But we still need to find the entrance to his realm. And the situation in Arcadia is not getting any better, not without your help. I don't know anything. What can I do? By just being there, you are helping. You are strong in the balance, April. And your power flows into those you meet and helps them against the tides of chaos. Whatever you do, however you do it, you are helping. I still feel so... so helpless. I don't understand half of what you tell me, and as for the other half, I can't help being skeptical. Good. Do not trust everyone or everything. And make a stand against that which you do not believe. Just be sure to accept the truth when you find it. 
and embrace the good in the world. I'll do my best. What are we going to do now? Tomorrow, we will visit with McAllen, find what he knows and use it. Then the day after, you will go back to Arcadia. At most, we have a week, but it should be enough. As for today, relax, be with your friends. I don't think I'll ever be able to relax again. We pay a heavy price for our knowledge, yes, but try to enjoy yourself because the hard work begins in the morning. I will see you then, yes? Wait, wait! Where are you going to be this time? We will meet here, yes? I'm afraid I cannot go back to Venice, not now. There are people looking for me. The Vanguard? Yes. They know what I am, who I am. They will not rest until they have me. So we must work very fast to destroy them. Tomorrow, then? Tomorrow. Have a good night, okay? Be careful. Thank you, senorita. And you. All right. It's the confessional. Can I actually open it? It's been two years since my last confession, but no. I'm not in the mood to be counting beads right now, and with my list of um shortcomings, I'll be counting beads for a very long time. We didn't get a new diary, right? Yeah. All right. I think at this point we can go back home. Let's remember, we have to meet Cortez back here at the cathedral. Well, that's creepy. Charlie, Emma, what are you guys doing here? We locked ourselves in to wait for you. I hope you don't mind. No, of course not. By the way, I think Zach was spying on you guys. I caught him leaning up against the door, and he hurried back into his room the second I arrived. He's such a loser. And he seems to have a personal vendetta against you now after what you did to him, or what he claims you did last night. Gotta love the guy. So what's up? What's the occasion? We want to know what's going on with you, April. What do you mean? Nothing's going on. Don't lie to your best friends. That's way below you. We know something's going on. There's no point denying it. For three days straight, you've been away all day. You've been acting weird and hanging around Cortez, of all people. And then today we find out you've been up to Metro Circle by yourself? I mean, April, for God's sake, what is going on? I'm saving the world. If I told you, you wouldn't believe me. Try us. We're your friends. Whatever it is, I'm sure we can help. Somehow. I've been... Uh, chosen to save the world. <laughs> Stop kidding around, April. We're serious. So am I. So am I. I told you, you wouldn't believe me. You're actually telling us the truth. What do you mean you've been chosen to save the world? So there is an other dimension which is dominated by magic. I can't say exactly what, but Cortez is with the good guys and I've been... Drafted. Look, April, if you're having some kind of nervous breakdown, we'll do anything to... God, I knew I should have kept my mouth shut. Forget it. I don't even believe in myself. So why should you? I believe you, April. I've seen things these past few days, strange, inexplicable things. And my grandma taught us that there's more to this world than meets the eye. 
And after all, it's you saying these things. My friend, April. I've never known you to lie or even exaggerate the truth. If you believe it, I believe it. And Thank I you, Charlie. Thank you, Charlie. It means a lot to me. I wish I could tell you everything, but I don't think I can. I understand. When you're ready. But if there's anything, anything at all we can do to help, well, don't hesitate to ask. Mm. There are a few things you can help me with. Great. What? Like I said, I can't really tell you very much about what's going on. Not yet, anyway. Tomorrow, after I've had a good night's sleep, I'll try explaining as much as possible. But there's one thing you can do for me. I have reason to suspect that somebody's out to get me, or Cortez. Who? Long story, but I could need some backup. These goons, these agents, they could be closing in, and whatever advanced warning you're able to give me... We'll do our best. What do they look like? I'm not sure, but you'll know when you see them, I'm sure. Anybody suspicious around, let me know. This is kind of exciting, but you gotta tell me, what are they after you for? Did you do something illegal? I mean, multiple things, but that's not what they were for. It's what I might do that they're worried about. But please don't ask me any more questions today. Just keep your eyes and ears peeled for anything weird. I need a good night's sleep, and tomorrow I should be able to tell you more. But thanks for helping me out, guys. I really appreciate it. We're all hanging out at the cafe tomorrow night, April, so you're just gonna have to join us. Okay. I promise. Now get some sleep. Sorry to tell you this, but you look totally exhausted. I'm glad we It's so weird that her math doesn't move here. Sure. Good night. I'm sure they just did not have enough polygons night, or ability Sweet to days. change them, but oh. It really took me out of it. Also, one of the most awkward ways of getting into bed. Which I'm sure, you know, it's because the backgrounds are 2D. Uh oh. Is that Cortez? It looks like Cortez. And that looks like the shady guy. That is not good news. Uh, also, we're shifting, I guess. What's that noise? Can I at least get dressed before I shift? That would be nice. Please? Where's that light oh, I guess... That's where I keep my clothes, isn't it, huh? Oh, oh man! Chapter 4, Monsters. So, as you can see, it's the Arcadia um, snake that's kind of taking over. Oh, not again! Not and we are in our undergarments. Isn't that great? Well, on the plus side, we're at the Journeyman Inn, which is where the last delivery we have to do is. And I'm guessing this is Mercuria. It smells like it, like a mix between fresh flowers and cow dung. There's some kind of party going on in there. All right, and oh no, this beginning of chapter four is where we're gonna leave it for today. We're gonna. Also, I'll hold off on reading the diary so we can start it off next time and kind of know where we're going and what we're doing. Thank you for watching. You can find me at twitch.tv slash games with Nick. I will probably be back on Friday afternoon um, to... Friday afternoon? I might be back on Friday afternoon to play some God of War. Uh, if not, I might be back on Sunday morning playing some more God of War. We're trying to push through it. Make sure we finish it in time for Ragnarok uh, to come out. 
Um, so uh, feel free to hit the follow button, click the bell so you know when I go live. Uh, also, uh, all my VODs are live on youtube.com slash gameswithnick. Feel free to check those out, like, subscribe, leave comments. Um, any feedback, as usual, is very much appreciated. Um, so thank you for watching, and until next time.